Hey, hey, YouTube family. How you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me and welcome from Paris. That's right. Uh, I am enjoying a nice evening. I just had dinner. I had um, uh, uh, grilled sea bass uh, over a bed of spinach and the, the purple lettuce. Is that the radicchio? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's an Italian lettuce. Uh, and then couscous. I had very little of the couscous so that I can enjoy the cheesecake. So I want you to check that out as as I share with you my hot topic today, Ozempic Face. But before I get to Ozempic Face, let me just tell you about this cheesecake. It was It was called New York Style Cheesecake. But you notice cheesecake is so firm, right, in America. Here it was fluffy, so I want you to check it out as I discuss Ozempic face. All right, let's get to it. All right, now have you seen the celebrities on the top of the list, Miss Meghan Markle? Um, who else? Oprah, uh, uh, Mil what is her name? Mindy Kaling, the comedian and actress. Uh, who else? Um, if you watch Real Housewives franchise, Margaret, uh, Chelsea Handler, the comedian, uh, Khloe Kardashian, they all have that Ozempic face where they age like 20 years. It's shocking. And I think these ladies are gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Megan, Megan Markle is not ugly by any stretch of the imagination, but she has aged a good 15 years. I mean, really. And I believe, I don't know for sure. Now, don't come suing me, guys, these celebrities, because you'll be picking on the little guy. But um, they look like they've aged quite a bit. And I am afraid of that because over COVID, I gained like 40 pounds. I have never been this heavy. Do you know I was a size zero uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm sure you guys hear that story. Of those of those of you ladies that know what I'm going through, you know how it is. In your 20s, you can't gain weight. As soon as you hit your 30s, you're picking up weight and don't have kids because I had kids in my 30s. And now I can't get the weight off. And then I have type 2 diabetes now because of COVID because I gained the weight over COVID. So I'm on the metformin and glib side. And I'm like, I should try the Ozempic. But the problem with Ozempic is, is that once you start, you can't stop by here, that you could end up, you gain all the weight back and some. And I'm really frightened of aging. I do not want to end up with wrinkles all over my mouth and neck. Did you see, look at Megan Markle's picture, you know, and look at, cause she's, she's lost a lot of weight and she's aging. That's that Ozempic face to me. You look at Oprah and Gail, the same thing. Gail says um, she was commenting on it and telling people that, you know, I lost weight. My weight loss journey is private. Um, or you look at Margaret or even Khloe Kardashian. They actually look better with weight on than off. So, but, you know, ladies, we all, you guys know how we are. It's like, it's like you just want to get those last couple of pounds off and it's hard to do. And wouldn't you know I'm going to eat a cheesecake. But uh, I had to enjoy that cheesecake. I'm sorry. But if I could get these like last 30 pounds off, 30 or 40. Let me see. Oh, excuse me. I, I think I want to. I want to lose about 40 more pounds. And that's going to I will probably look completely different. But I don't mind looking different as long as I look healthy. I don't want to have that Ozempic face where I'm starting to wrinkle and oh my God, the benefits of, you know, having little melanin in your skin is you don't wrinkle, but that Ozempic looks like it does a number on them, those colored women faces. Look at Megan. She's a, a proud woman of, independent woman of color and she's got wrinkles all going up and down and all her eyes and her neck and I know we age, but damn, she's not even 45 yet. Oh, wait a minute. Is she? I don't know. You know, I don't know. I'm not going to, I don't know. Maybe she is closer to 50, but I am over 50 and I'm trying to slow it, slow the aging process down. I'm sorry. Maybe it's too vain for me, but it is what it is. All right. So what do you guys think? Have you tried Ozempic? I want to know. Have you ladies tried it? And if you have, put your, add your comments in the chat because I'm thinking of talking to my doctor when I get back to the States and because I would like to eventually get off of the uh, diabetes. I'd like to, re, you know, reverse it. So, you know, I think if I, my doctor said if I drop the weight, it should be okay. That's why I ended up with diabetes, but I don't know. 
But if this can help, I want to hear from real people that's had it. So if you have, leave your comments in the chat. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching my video. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will chat with you soon. Love you. Ciao.